Pleasure now to be joined by head football coach Rob Smith as he stops by for his weekly visit. Coach, uh, look, you guys went on the road and you got, I'm sure, exactly what, uh, you know, happens to a lot of people when you take on a number two team in the nation. Tough environment to play in Ellensburg. And, uh, you know, as I reflect on that game, I don't know about you, but I sit there and go, man, that was a really good team. And the way the Jacks finished, look, I know you're not going to be too happy about a 38-7, to but things could have been a lot worse. Well, but that's not how you look at it. I mean, we we very disappointed with the way we played. For the first time this season, uh, we did not respond to the situation or the opponent. And, and uh, uh, again, we, we ran up against the number two team in the country who on that day played just like the number two or one team in the country and played very, very well. It was their homecoming, their senior day. They were highly motivated. And for whatever reason, uh, we came out and, and, and uh, I don't want to say we were flat. We just didn't make plays early when we needed to. And Boy, you give a team like Central Washington that type of momentum, uh, and I've played over there, you know, taking teams over to Ellensburg many, many times. Uh, it is tough when, when that crowd gets into it. We allowed that to happen in that first half, and, and it was hang on time. So we got beat by a better football team. You give Central Washington credit. I, I, you know, for our players, it's, it's a, uh, a good learning experience of where we need to get to as a football team, football program. I believe we will, but we have work to do. Now, eight games you've played this year, seven of them, um, you've either won or been right there to the very end. This one was not the case. Uh, I mean, you see it from every team. The ones that go undefeated, ones that don't win a game. Uh, really hard to be up for every game. Do you think that you're just, it's almost impossible to be up for 10 games and maybe this was your one and hopefully only one? You know, that's a great question, JB. It's difficult, certainly. You, you look at Cal going up to Oregon a few weeks ago and just getting hammered, you know. 50, uh, yeah. You know, and it does happen in this game and I, coaches will sit there and, and, and dissect it every which way. But, uh, you know, we felt we were prepared. Uh, we just, you know, give credit to Central Washington. They, you know, they had two games uh, that were close and, and uh, they're a senior-dominated team. It was their senior day. They introduced 23 players, 15 of whom were starting. Uh, you know they're they're where they're at for a reason, and and uh, we had chances early to, to to make some things. But when you don't stop a team on third down, I think they were six of six to start off, or you don't convert third downs yourselves. And we were uh, 0 for three early on. The the game has a has a chance then to get out of hand, and it certainly did quickly. You know we we had our chances. We had a tip ball early in the game. I think their first possession that lands at the feet of our safety, and if our safety could be one step quicker, get that he's going to go back the other way. Who knows how it will go? But uh, again, we found a situation there in the first half where we we were playing a very good opponent who came out was executing extremely well. They found some things early on that they could do to to, to hurt us, and and once that crowd got behind it, once that team uh, good teams with. Momentum, Man, we're tough to beat. I know it's still uh, we're still a little over a week away before you make your final home game. But Tomlinson Stadium, outside of the win, because we don't ever want to deal with that here. Uh, they got a large crowd for a small place, but it's just a difficult place to play. What kind of things can the, you do here? Um, do you think to make the Redwood Bowl as difficult to play that you could uh, utilize from a place like that? Well, the first thing you, you, you do is you, you fill it up. You know, they had over 5,000 fans there. That side, uh, the, the, the home side was completely full, and they have a great atmosphere. The, the, the game is just part of the, the event that they put on there, and, and uh, uh, that combined with just the fact that you got a good football team, who's, uh, and they've had good football teams now for, for quite some time, that's a very, very confident group uh, playing at home. They, they, they have not, uh, we're not the first team that they've, they've, they've beat like that at home. They have uh, one, I can't remember the last time they lost at home, but it certainly has been has been a while. But you know, it, it starts with the product that you put on the field. They're a, they're a high-powered, high-quality uh, football program that really has it going right now. And secondly, obviously, they they take great pride in in defending the home turf, and 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 that crowd and that band gets behind them in a very very special way, makes it very tough for the opponent. All right, now I know Central Washington, uh, not a love, a lot of love in the conference. But now that you won't face them again. Uh, do you root for them going forward here? And obviously they're going to represent the GNAC uh, in the playoffs, most likely, barring a disaster, they're going to go to the playoffs. Or is it, uh, let's good riddance be go gone with these guys? No, absolutely you root for them. They, they now will carry the conference flag. And, and uh, uh, I, whoever the conference representative that moves into the national playoffs, you'd really like to see that team perform well because it's going to then shine a bright light on everyone in the conference. And, and uh, so, uh, you know, there's still two games to go and this could change. But uh, let's assume that Central does win out. Uh, they've got Dixie State, I think, and, and uh, uh, 
uh, Western Oregon their final two games. Let's assume they went out and are undefeated. That means they'll host uh, through the the playoffs because they are the first round, uh, the, the number one team, I should say, out of the West region right now. And uh, again, any team that goes to Tomlinson, any team that has to go to Ellensburg is going to have their hands full. And, and certainly the, the experience at Central gained a year ago being in the national playoffs, losing a disappointing game in the first round to West Texas should help them as well. So absolutely, we, we uh, uh, will we'll, uh, support uh, Central Washington as, as difficult as that may be. <laughs> All right, we'll support Central Washington. They are the conference representative. And once they move into the playoffs, it's not just Central Washington. Washington, but it's a great Northwest Athletic Conference that's playing that game. Okay, this weekend uh, you find yourself another afternoon game here to play at Western Oregon. The ultimate heartbreaker of the year, you lose at home by a point to this team. What do you need to do and how are you looking forward to going up to Western and get another crack at this absolutely, team? Absolutely, absolutely. Just, you know, as much as we've improved as a football team and, and, and we clearly have, we've yet to win a conference game. Mm. And, and, and that's something that we're going to we're gonna set our sights on right to start, starting now. That we have got to, you know, we got to get back on our feet as a football team and we've got to get ready to go play a Western Oregon team that, that uh, uh, could have and should have beat Central Washington the week before in Seattle, led 21-0 at halftime, lost on a last-second field goal. Uh, to, to Central, and, and uh, then this past week, Western Oregon went down and, and beat Azusa Pacific handily. So, you bet we have got to get our players back on our feet. Realize that there's so much out there still to play for, and uh, we, you know, we're four and four right now. So we've got to get ready to, to play a good Western Oregon team. Again, make another road trip up up to Monmouth. Another difficult place to play, difficult environment to play uh, against a good football team. But uh, uh, I have confidence that our players will respond to the situation that we're given. All right. Uh, so many years at this time of the year for Humboldt State, there's nothing to play for. You guys aren't going to the playoffs this year, but two games left, a chance to go 500 or above 500. How important is that? Absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. I think it would be a great, uh, great improvement from a year ago, and, and that's certainly the focus that we're taking right now. All right, Coach, look forward to you. You're going to be on the road that game on ESPN Radio, 1340 AM. Back with more next. Three wides to the right side, one to the left. What does greatness taste like? Steps up, heaves the ball. Step up and order a Miller Lite aluminum pint with a wide opening to deliver that true Pilsner taste. Down into the end zone. It's going to be a tip ball. He got it! Unbelievable! And it's going to be a touchdown! This is unbelievable! There's light beer, and then there's triple hops brewed Miller Lite. Taste greatness. We thought last week was unbelievable. This is unbelievable! Dustin, what are you doing on the field? Lumberjack for life. But you don't play for the Lumberjacks anymore. Look, HSU football gave me and my teammates a great college experience and prepared us for life off the field. By going to hsujacks.com, click on Donate, then click on JFAN, I can give. So you and our future teammates can better experience life as a Jack. And it's so easy, even a football player could do it. Join the tradition of Jacks football. Become a teammate at hsujacks.com.